Uh, unpacking can wait. Oliver Fields, Captain, United States Army. Now that we got the pleasantries out of the way, I have one question for you. Why the hell are you planning on stealing America's gold reserve? Uncle Sam not give you enough hugs and kisses while he was keeping you safe in that vault? We've been heading back down from up north. Before you ask why it took so long, take a long, hard look at your day-to-day -day in Appalachia. It's nice here. You've got it so good that I'd have wanted my mama to retire here. Giant bats. Boo-hoo. Don't you know a lick of history from before the war? We've always been forged in fire. Maybe we got a bit burnt this time, and I can't believe it's the end. <laughs> World ends, and suddenly every Tom, Dick, and Mary thinks they're in charge. What makes you so special, huh? You joined up with that Modus guy, huh? He contacted us when we started poking around here. Thompson, what did you say he reminded you of? I said he reminded me of the Galaxy News radio announcer, but, like, obviously evil, sir. Seems to me that a lot of people around here have access to that arsenal. It's a fact that I'm not overly fond. I don't know what the responders or the fire breathers are, but hunting those scorched seems vitally important and dangerous. Since we're both defenders of the people, in a manner of speaking, maybe you'll level with me. Do you know what your vault's primary mission was? Not the Rebuilding America Bull, the real mission. You know, the experiment that your fault was running. Like the jukeboxes can't be turned off and all they do is play Butcher Pete all day, every day. Or a vault that doesn't include any food. That got done. Alright people, what do we think of this vault dweller? Ratcliffe, Thompson, Lucky? I mean, I give anyone who doesn't shoot it as bonus points, so... Checks out to me. Yeah? Holds up with everything we were able to recon. Page wasn't lying, at least. All right, looks like you passed the test. Now let's talk about this Vault 79 you're so keen on breaking into. Oh, we know all about them. Luckily, Page gave us enough info to ID the problem. Sergeant Ratcliffe, you want to take it from here? We're dealing with Robco's semi-autonomous and mobile weapon platform. Only used for special government procurement. Extra thick ballistic shielding, plus reflective paneling, and internal temperature regulation. Even has built-in air freshness. But can your new buddy Radcliffe beat him? Of course he can. Just need a little help from the source. I'm gonna meet you there and hold your hand. Fields and Thompson are gonna sit around here and do nothing. Rude. Yes, but not inaccurate. You and I are going to meet up at the Rob Cole Research Center down near Watoga. See if we can find the equipment I need to bust through those turrets. And we better hope we do, because my only backup plan is politely asking the turrets not to shoot us. And that never goes well. Uh, the high points are that it's a facility full of people who were smart enough to know better, but somehow didn't. You know how sometimes their robots go nuclear when damaged? 
that's by design. That's on purpose. Think about that. Most were made for civilian use. In what world does that make sense? Fucked up. Because I'm criminally overdue for a promotion? What, do I need to politely ask you not to shoot me too? I'm not going to knowingly endanger either of us, don't worry. Especially not myself. Just make the best of it, people. Nobody let Lucky out by himself. I could have sworn I saw a big old set of red eyes outside just a bit ago. for military research projects. General rule, they keep the good stuff in the back. Hmm, I have to come back for that later.
nail that? Opportunity. And also, shorted out electronics. work my magic with those pincers anyway. They probably got some brains in storage somewhere. That seems like a very them thing. The entire research team jarred their brains? though, right? <laughs> Just need to get one of them up and running.
with the voice of Watoga Project to give it the voice and personality of your late mother. I understand that you two were close, and I know what it means to lose someone dear, but we cannot allow this type of flagrant disregard for project specifications to continue without reprimand, no matter how sympathetic we may be to your personal loss. If you do not cease your tinkering and remove all the related changes from the project program and data files, you will be let go without hesitation. Thank you for your understanding and immediate compliance in this matter. Not sous chefs and some kind of weird zombie cooking show pilot? Normally, I'm all about randomly fiddling the dials, but considering this brain is a limited resource, we better find some instructions first. smart enough to write the settings down at least. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out which number goes where. Thank <laughs> you. 